Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show the gameplay of the game. So when you start off, let me reload very quickly. You start off with these three little chaps that are dancing around and they are starving. You can't move them anywhere. You're starving us. Well indeed. I'm going to go through the gameplay trying to explain what I think users will think about when they see the game. I assume the first thing is going to be they're going to try to click somewhere. They're going to see that this is the same color of this thing and they're going to see that when they click on this thing um, they have some kind of range. So they will probably believe that they can move these guys. Now if they're used to video games they're going to try to right click somewhere and then they're going to see this pop-up saying is dinner ready or you, you look like a sandwich or you know basically implicitly telling you that they are hungry. So now they're going to see those little boxes and if they're on Firefox they're even going to have the tooltips. So for example travel they're going to click there and they're going to see select the spot where you want to move and now when you hover over it you see some kind of question mark so maybe they'll click on it and they'll see the in-app help system and then from there obviously things get a lot easier because they're going to understand more things about the game by reading it. Obviously the help system is a lot more extensive than what I'm going to cover in this video. So let's get out of the help and now one of the things they probably see is select the spot where you want to move well they might want to click somewhere else but they'll notice eventually that when they want to click inside of the range uh, the arrow appears and they can actually move or can they? So they'll notice that something is wrong about it so hopefully by now they're going to see that they can click on this second one and oh ho you have the ability to build things and right now you can only build two things roads which they'll very quickly notice doesn't help very much or farms so they are going to build a farm and now so this button I hope the text is implicit enough but basically what it does is it is just like travel the difference is that you can split the group half of the group is going to stay there the other half is going where you want to go and you can select whether it's half or like 25% 75% and so on by moving this slider but usually half is something you want so in this case let's say let's go there and just for the sake of it we're going to build farms there so I don't know if you noticed but this below here is actually the population of each camp that we have. We are those guys here who have just three people and we're way behind the others. Let's see the others. Now we have all the spawns right here. We are those guys, number zero. Number one and number two is right here and right there. And there's this thing that I might talk about probably at the end of the video, which is Black Death, which is a treasure. Let's get back to our spawn. One thing that I recommend doing when you first start a game is to zoom out by pressing the minus key on your keyboard or whatever key is on the right of your zero key. And you start seeing the whole world in a new eye. Now, if you keep this on you can actually track them up towards um, the places that you want to see so for example let's say I want to go to spawn one here let's go this way and there they are right next to me now spawn number two is a bit north let's get there oh they're there and black death is actually pretty close to where we are it's right there. So it's halfway between where we are and where those guys are. But we actually have an edge in this case because we have um, a lot more space to build than they have. This is a case where we actually spawn next to a huge ocean. I wanted to pick this spot because I happened to find it by accident. There's a video coming up about the size of the map. And this is a very, very rare occurrence. You don't see uh, an ocean that big in the game anywhere else. Not that I could see anyway. Now, let's get on building. So, 
The build system is a bit of a puzzle game, if you want. You have a series of things to build, and you have requirements. So for example, you can build farms anywhere except on water, but if you want to build a residence in order to have more people, well in that case, you have to create a residence. Now in order to build a residence, you need two farms next to the residence. So for example, in this case, if we move those guys over here, this spot is next to two different farms, so we can build a residence. Right, so this spawned people, and the basic idea is every time you lose people, it doesn't matter, those people respawn on residences, on farms, and on skyscrapers tiles. You always have as many people as you can have. So let's build another residence. And now, um, in order to get skyscrapers, which give you even more people, farms give you one guy, residences give you two guys, and skyscrapers give you six guys, you need to have six residences around it. So the quickest way that I found to make that is to use what I call a sort of a triangle of farms. So you get one farm here. Um, you can put one farm there and then you have the ability to make residences all around and then this can hold a skyscraper because you have residences all around. Now let's populate the rest of the rest of them. Um, so let's see now it seems that the, huh, surprising, the pink people have an edge. So who are the pink people? Those guys. Yeah, they're the one on the right. I didn't think they would have such an advantage against us. So, let's prepare for war. One of the things that we don't have yet are weapons. Uh, because weapons are something that we only get from a gunsmith. And in order to get a gunsmith, you need a skyscraper, sure, but you also need a factory. And a factory, in turn, requires three residences and one road, and so on. So let's get one. It's actually not very hard. Um, you need a road there, and you need residence there, and here you can have a factory. I'm not going to explain everything I do in the game, but um, if you're careful, it's actually going to make a lot of sense. Now, let's say that we actually want a... So there are shortcuts, if you're wondering, uh, for building stuff. And here I'm going to make a dock in order to get faster to where I want to go. So these guys have gone to the gunsmith here, so they got guns, and they have gone to this place, so they have cars, and cars allow them to get by a little faster. Now, I have 10 people that have guns, cars, and boats. You can tell, by the way, what they have from the info bar at the bottom right. So now they can go really fast on water, and pretty fast on land. They can still go faster on on land by having airports, which require a lot more dependencies. So let's go nag those people, those pink people. Um, and actually along the way I'm going to leave people right next to the Black Death that we have here. I'm going to leave one guy. I only need one guy for that. So, where are they? Up here, okay. I'm going to get a boost from this little river. Right there. I'm going to get yet another boost here. Poof. And I'm ready to fight them. 
I'm not going to directly fight them right off the bat, but I'm going to create a city right next to them just to annoy them, you know. Um, and because this is pretty much an army, they all have guns and boats and cars, so we have a pretty big edge against them. So let's build a small city. There we go. By the way, those people are actually being controlled by an AI, an artificial intelligence, so they sometimes do weird stuff like have a guy here build a bridge for no reason. <coughs> it's a bit weird. And they build a lot more of those docks than they need. I might do a video explaining the AI. It's a pretty dumb and simple one. So by now I'm actually at a very good spot. Um, the most dangerous people I have on the map are really next to... well it would take some time but I would probably win against them very fast and the other guys wouldn't have time to beat me in terms of population. By the way, the winner of the game is the one that when somebody kills one of the camps has the most people. I'm going to try to use this treasure that I found to my advantage. So that's something that you can read in the documentation, but basically the Black Death is a spot which by the name you can probably tell holds a very dangerous disease. Now by building an airport right on this spot which is ridden by disease, I'm going to spread the disease to all my enemies and they're going to lose half of the people they have on residences and skyscrapers. So let's build a an airport. An airport needs um, three airlines which needs roads only and a gunsmith which needs skyscrapers and all that good stuff. So let's build roads around it. Ah oh god, I'm starving. I'm building a farm really fast. So on this part I have two roads next to it. I can build an airland. I'm going to build one right there and one here. Now I need a skyscraper there, which means I'm going to get a gunsmith there, which means I'm going to get an airport there. Okay. So in order to build a skyscraper here... And gunsmith. Yes. And now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to make more people, even though I don't really need to. Um, there we go, just to establish myself, you know, as if I needed to. <clears throat> so now, if I build an airport here, I'm going to spread the disease everywhere, and everybody's going to die. So just in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to look at my enemies. The biggest threat is those guys, and they're going to lose a lot of people right when I build this airport. So I'm building it not here, but um, back in, in Black Death. This is the tile I have selected. So let's go back here, and let's build the airport back there. Boom. Yep, they lost a lot of people. Okay, so now my army can go and start taking everything and annoying them. They're trying to take it back but I believe it's too late by now. So another thing that I'd like to say fights and war, how does it work? Basically, well let's do one to one. I have one guy here and they have one guy over there. I don't know why I would attack this place but anyway just for the sake of demonstration. 
we lose as many people as the lowest number of people there are in the fight. So in this case, I have one guy, they have one guy. We are both going to lose one guy. And there we are. I have nobody there anymore. But I'm going to take this back. Now, when you are armed, you increase your force by two, which means that, for example, with these three guys, I could destroy those two guys there because three times two is six and two times two is four. But I would lose people too. I only have two people left. And now there's one last thing about wars that I need to teach you. Surrender. So basically, if you have one tile, for example, this one that is surrounded by two tiles from my camp, so for example, this tile and that tile, they are going to give up. And in this case, you're not going to lose anybody and you're going to win the people that you have over there. So for example, in this case, I have, I have two people, they have one people. Since I'm going to win, they are going to come over to my side and surround her completely. I'm not going to lose anybody, I'm going to win someone. So instead of having two people here, I'm going to have three people there. Surrendering is why it's a bit easier to actually win cities over. I don't really know if you notice, but they're trying to attack this from where they are, you know, probably from this star, but they're not winning because I have more people. Um, so let's finish this off and uh, this is going to end the game. Before I kill the last little guy off, I'm going to zoom out just to show how it looks from up here. There we go. So we were on the edge here. We went to the mountain here where we'll build the airport. And now we are going to attack the last guy here. When I right click, boom. And I have one. So this was one game of Not My Territory, but I only have to reload the game and the next game starts off right over in a new spot. So this was a video explaining the gameplay of Not My Territory. I hope you liked it and see you next time.